It is National Coming Out Day, founded in 1988 on the first anniversary of the Second National March on Washington. Dave Carlin learned from members of New York City's LGBTQ plus community that coming out is daunting for almost everyone who does it, but they say ultimately it's worth it. Coming out means to me just like embracing your true authentic self and being you. To me it means a sense of belonging and also being authentically myself. Uh, we're out of colors, we're out of colors. Gatherings for National Coming Out Day include one here at this center in Astoria. It's part of a program operated by LGBT Network, where Louis Francois works. There's coming out to yourself, coming out to your family, and coming out to your community. He was 18 and in college when he came out to his family. Coming from a uh, conservative black family, um, they knew, but they didn't want to know. So I had to actually educate my family. You have a choice to say when and how and why you are who you are. And when and if you do that, there are other places to go so you won't feel alone. Leo Sheck was in high school when he came out. Now he's 26. What do you think is an important message on National Coming Out Day? It's a reminder that everyone deserves to feel safe. He works at Out Leadership. What do you say Out Leadership is? Out Leadership is a collection of some of the world's largest companies, and we work together with one goal, which is we use the power of business to promote LGBTQ plus equality. Why are some people still resistant to come out right now? In 2024, for the second year in a row, the social, political, and economic standing of LGBTQ plus Americans declined. I think it's important that we remind people who live in small towns, who come from families who may not be accepting, we need to serve as uh, reminders to them that this is okay and that's why organizations like Out Leadership are working tirelessly every single day. Taking step after step, Sheck and others say those steps should get easier as you keep going. Dave Carlin, CBS News, New York.